The Venetian artist Giambattista Tiepolo was one of the greatest artistic geniuses which the city gave to the world in the 18th century, and he was the last great illusionist fresco painter, preserving the decorative Baroque style. The colossal composition of his works, in fantastical settings, are an explosion of light, brilliance, and color. They are complex and full of movement, with an abundance of people in a great variety of poses. Demand for his skill and creative imagination took him away from Venice, and in 1762 he settled in Madrid in the court of Carlos III, for whom he painted large allegorical compositions on the walls of the royal palace. The death of Hyacinth is a scene which does full justice to the great classical tragedies. The clear, brilliant colors give us the impression of a clean atmosphere bathed in Mediterranean light. The two groups in the painting are clearly differentiated by the use of color. In the foreground, and placed on rich material, lies Hyacinth, mortally wounded by a badly thrown discus. Apollo, his lover, leans over him with a gesture of intense suffering. Set against a large orange cloth and a smaller blue one, Hyacinth's skin tones reflect the light falling on them. Here, the artist has used diluted, exquisite brushstrokes to create polished surfaces and well-defined contours. On the left, in a second plane and placed in shadow, is the group led by King Amides, Hyacinth's father, and behind his entourage. This group is executed in dull, somber tones and with a more flowing brush. The scene is completed with classically inspired fantastic architecture and Mediterranean flora. The scene is a display of opulence and exults in grandiose gestures with the richness of atmosphere and attitudes typical of Tiepolo's triumphal baroque style. <laughs>